Kasper Rohstedt joins us now from Germany for more on those earnings. He's chairman and CEO of Henkel. Good to see you. Uh, you're doing well. These are pretty good results. But with what's going on in Europe and the United States, talks of a double dip recession, demand falling off maybe, certainly in the West, how worried are you going forward? You're following a very, you saw, you know, second quarter with 6% growth on the top line, 80% uh, growth on the operating profit and a contribution of 42% of our total business from the emerging markets. At this stage, we're not so concerned. We think it will continue to be a very volatile environment. But as we just updated our earnings out, no, our revenue outlook and confirmed our earnings outlook, at this stage, we believe that the underlying business fundamentals still remain sound. Uh, to what extent are rising costs eating on those profit margins and are you able and have you been able to absorb them thus far? As I said, we've increased our underlying operating margin by 80 basis points, really by driving two set of activities. A continued focus on cost and changing our underlying structures, but also at the same time uh, passing cost on the way, you know, on through to consumers. So we are quite confident that we can continue our track to improve our operating margin for the quarters to come. We are right now running at, at a underlying profit of 12.7 for the first six months and we're guiding at 13% for the full year. So our expectation is that we can continue to increase our operating profit uh, for the six months to go for this year. Now you said in June that you're, there are some attractive takeover targets notably in the United States, who are you talking to? We at this stage not talking to anybody. We're very focused on hitting our targets for 2011 and the targets for 2012. So at this stage, we're very focused on running our business as good as we can. And what about Clorox? Are you interested in buying parts of that company? Should it become available? At this stage, it has no interest for us, and, and normally we don't uh, publicly speculate at this stage. We're very focused on running our own business. But you don't rule it out? You know, I never rule anything out at this stage, but I believe that we have so many opportunities in our current portfolio, which we've seen over the last three years, where we've consistently grown above market and also consistently increased profit. So we believe that there are so many opportunities in our current portfolio that we don't need quote-unquote external help to continue to improve our business. Okay, Kasper Rostedt, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on Bloomberg Today.